Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayal. I bring you greetings in the joy, in the delight, in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, let us receive the peace of Jesus and be excited about giving that out to everyone throughout this day. Before I start with the meditation, I want to share this with you, that tomorrow I need to go early in the morning to another town for a major conference. Uh, therefore, I won't be able to record this uh, daily meditation. Now, I invite you to meditate on John chapter 11, verse 48. It is about the Jewish people worried about Jesus. They are saying, if we let him go like this, let him mean Jesus. If we let him go like this, the whole world will believe in him. And then the Romans will come and take our temple and our whole nation. The fear of the Jewish leaders. They were so comfortable with their positions, with their place, with their source of income, and they did not want anything to happen to that. Therefore, they are now planning to get rid of Jesus. Jesus became a threat to them, threat to their safety, security, their way of life. Sisters and brothers, it is not only they but throughout Christianity, throughout all the religions, the devil brings in fear. Whenever we see something out of the way, we are, we are afraid that our way of life, that our religion, that our, our comfort zone will be taken away by this newcomer, by this revolutionary. It is the devil who free, brings fear into our heart. And on account of those fears, people do crazy things, terrible things. Look at all the people who commit murder to protect the unborn children. What a ridiculously, uh, ridiculously terrible thinking. You know, we are trying to protect the unborn babies and thereby we kill people. What a terrible tragedy. The devil inspires, influences us to do bad things, say bad things. Yeah, we are people, we are human beings. We don't agree on everything. But that doesn't mean we have to hate people. As Christians, we are called to love people, appreciate and admire people, even when we disagree with them. Sisters and brothers, if we believe that Jesus is the Lord of all, God is in control of everything, we don't need to worry about things beyond our control. We only need to trust and obey Jesus. Trust that he is the Messiah. Trust and obey that he told us to love everyone, even the enemy. The Jewish leaders were so scared, so afraid of losing their wealth and positions and, and temple and comfort zone. Do not allow the devil to defeat us with that kind of horrible thinking, fear. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, self-discipline, love. That's what the spirit has given us. The Holy Spirit is within us. Sisters and brothers, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit has chosen to come and live within us. Let us rejoice in that and give out their love, the love of God to everyone throughout this day. Whenever fear comes in our way, let us retaliate fever with power of faith. I believe in God. God is in control. Every minute of our day, God is in control. 
Our eternal Father is in control. Let us not be afraid of evil. Evil will not win. Rejoice in the Lord always. That's what Apostle Paul said. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. Oh, sisters and brothers, let's keep on praying for the Spirit of the Lord to come upon us, that we would rejoice, not be afraid, not be afraid of anything, especially this coming election, or whatever we are afraid. The Lord is in control. Let us rejoice in Him. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Precious Lord, we glorify you for being in control of the world. You created the world. You created each one and every one of us. You created us in your image. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Jesus Christ who died on the cross for us. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Holy Spirit. Bless us to rejoice in you whenever fear comes in our way, whatever may be the method by which the devil introduced fear to us. Bless us to rejoice in you. Teach us to glorify you. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.